Welcome to another short video from Preact. This is Martin and in today's video I'll be showing you how we can seamlessly integrate Dynamics for Marketing events into Teams Live events. So on the screen you can see I've just set up and created a, a new event. It's the Power of Power BI event. It's going to take place today at two o'clock for three and a half hours. Um, we have this little option over here to say do you want to stream this as a live event? If you say yes to this, then it will give you a few options and today's one we're looking at is the Teams Live events down here. By doing so, you can then see it gives you a few more fields that you need to fill in. Just by enabling the stream provider to be Teams, you also get the additional tab up here in the ribbon that says Sync with Teams. So any changes you make in here, you can then click Sync with Teams and this will effectively then push over into your Teams desktop client. It only works on the desktop, doesn't work in Teams for the web yet, so you have to be logged in on your desktop to be able to you know, present this and produce this. Um, a couple of extra things you can see down here. Recording is going to be available to producers and speakers. You can say yes to this. Attendees, we want to see who's turned up. Again, we can say yes to this. Do we want them to have access to the recording? Again, yes or no. Um, and do you want to enable Q&A at the end? Again, you just pick and choose what you want to have in here. What this will equally then do, you can see here, is it will generate a Teams URL. So what we need to do, you can either manually copy this and just send this out in the normal manner. Um, but equally, over here, what I've decided to do, and this is quite useful, is I've just created a customer journey. So Power BI Live Event. You can see I've added two swim lanes to this. So I'm saying if somebody goes on my website and fills in a form, I'm going to send them a confirmation email. I started this at the beginning of the week. Send them a confirmation email. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until one hour before the event. And then I'll send them another email with their check-in details. They click on the link in there and they'll be able to check into the event. Equally, I've got another swim lane here just for a static segment. So when our sales team are talking to people and we send out our newsletters, people tell us they're interested in their next live event. Then we just add them to that segment. Once they're in there again, we've added them, they will get a confirmation email. We will then wait until an hour before and then send them the Teams check-in as well. There's a couple of ways you can do it, but this is the, the most common way of doing it. Um, so once we've done this, what we can then do is we can then click synchronize with Teams over here. As soon as we do this, it will synchronize, it will go and create this for us. And then down here, if I just load up my Teams, you can see on the 21st, I've now got this event. I can click into it. I can see all the details around the event, when it's starting, when it's finishing. And then over here, you can see there's the live, the live link that will obviously become live an hour before the event starts. You can see this is read only. So any changes have to be made in Dynamics 365 for marketing. If I click on edit, what you will then be able to see down here is the settings. Can you see all of these settings have been turned on? That's based on us saying yes or no to the, a few of those field values that we've just set up. If I just go back, you can probably see again in here, there's a few people in here that are producers and presenters. So you can see Fiona and Peter have come across as a producer and Angela has come across as a presenter. I can go in here and I can change their roles. The reason they've come across, if I just come out of this, just go back here just to show you on the agenda obviously we've got you know you can have sessions in here if you need to but just out of the box you have speaker engagements this works in the normal way that anyone who's been using Dynamics 365 for marketing events understands I've got Angela in here as a speaker so naturally she comes across as a presenter in our team's live event and then over here I've got a couple of internal team members that are helping me on this I can see Fiona's in here, she's helping me with promoting this event and Peter's in here helping me with arranging speakers. These two have come across as producers. So it's as simple as that. You just fill out all the details you need. You say stream this to Teams live event. You fill out all of the details you need here. Send your Teams URL and set up your customer journey accordingly. Make sure you set your speakers and set your internal team members that are gonna be your producers. Once you've done that, synchronize with Teams and then click go live and this will be ready to go live an hour before this time in here. 
Just gonna pause the video and then I'm gonna show you when we actually go live, how people can check in and, and the reports we get off the back of that. So I've just come over here to the actual event. Um, we're just gonna join the event now as the presenter. You can see this will pop up. You can then obviously turn on your microphone, turn on your camera if you need to. Um, I'm not gonna do that, you don't need to see me. Just click join now. This will take us into the live, you know, pre-live screen. You can change some of these things around. So you can have your videos here, you can add your content. But effectively, you can see down here, there's me. And obviously any other presenters would appear down the bottom that you can then obviously spotlight and put in the top. Um, and if you need to share any sort of content, then what you do is you click up here, share content. You find what you wanna share. And you can see it goes into your content tray at the bottom. So if I need to add content up here, I can just pick this and this will now take this from my screen. If I send it to the live, this will obviously then appear over here and this is now what all of the attendees are going to see. Um, you can see I can obviously then just start this, for example, click start here. This is now gonna start the live event. And then what you've got is you've got your attendees gonna then start joining this event. So just come over here, when they click on the Teams check-in link that you've probably sent them in an email, they've got two options. They can click sign in, um, which will ask them to sign in with a Microsoft account, or they can join anonymously. Obviously, then this will just allow them to come in, but it's not capturing any first name, last name, or email addresses. Um, so I'm just going to quickly sign in here. So just signing in with one of my other Microsoft users, Chris Collins in this scenario, and then you can see Chris will be put into the main lobby. So you can see the presentation that, that Martin's carrying out. It will pop up on the right hand side, obviously, if you've enabled Q&A as well. So obviously this is what I'm presenting on my other screen. Um, Chris, if he needs to, could ask a question. Something along those lines. Obviously then ask a question. Send that. If we go back over here now, to the actual live event, what you can see up here is the show Q&A. So if we see the show Q&A option in here, we'll be able to see a list of all of the questions that have been asked by any of those attendees. I'll just quickly do that again. There you go, so that's just come across. Obviously then the presenter's got the ability to reply privately just by clicking on here or dismissing it. So if we click dismiss, it just doesn't get answered, doesn't go anywhere. We click publish, obviously then it comes over into the publish queue. We can then reply with something and then this will then be public. So everyone else now in this forum will be able to see all of this information. You'll be able to see over here that there's one attendee that's obviously attending this and obviously however many attendees that have attended, whether they're anonymous or they've actually registered. Um, that's pretty much it really. Um, everything else is just Teams Live events if you're already used to using that, all this functionality is the same. Um, but once you've finished all of this, then obviously you're gonna end this. So we can click end here. This now ends the live event for everybody. And once this is then ended, we go back into our calendar. You can see if we go back into the actual event itself, you can now see all of those things that we've turned on. The Q&A report is now available for us to download, the attendance engagement report, and all these other things are now in here for us to basically, you know, load if we need to and get our hands on. If we just come over here to actual dynamics again, then what you'll also then see is the, um, where is it, under here, the check-in. So the registration, Chris Collins is in here and we've got an event check-in down here. So we know that, that Chris physically checked into this event. So please... Feel free to get in touch if you like anything that you've seen from, from Microsoft Teams live events into Dynamics for Marketing. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to Preact YouTube channel if you want to see more videos about Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform in the future.